Today we're jumping back into saving Germany in 1944. It's been a while since I've played Germany on this mod and it's had some updates so I believe this is going to be harder than ever. So can we pull it off? Stick around, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button and let's get started. 1944 downfall mod. Here we go. So we are obviously going to be playing on normal mode with the Soviet offensives on this is what we're looking like with the German Reich we have a focus tree fully sort of complete ish and then we have this new bit on the mod which has gives us some extra focuses so we get a bit of recruitable pop and a defense to start with for a year and a bit which is very nice 21 days these focuses are a few to get rid of some of the national spirits like shortages of NCOs which is army experience and training time a load of equipment there that will definitely come in handy a few that give us some other divisions and bit, bits and pieces and some forts. We do need to be in surrender progress for that. And then, yeah, some forts in Germany and Italy. Enzig, which is then division attack. Uh, remove other bits, some, you know, the usual industry stuff. But we'll, we'll start and get the recruitable pop and defense. We have got 700,000 at the moment. So it's not too bad. National spirit wise, Atlantic wall construction, coastal forts. That's good. There's also a land fort one as well, which is also good. Medium casualties, minus six to recruitable pop isn't ideal. And then the two national spirit shortage of air force and shortage of NGO, which we can get rid of. So that's not too bad. We've got Goebbels, uh, military, non-call. That's fine. We'll get rid of the army chief because we don't want drill. We will take Franz, Halder and the attack or division attack we'll go get the comments raiding a genius of course mr carl uh we'll do uh, bad weather or yeah we'll do bad weather um we'll go army genius of rommel obviously that attack and defense to armor we'll get the infantry expert i think um any decisions mifo bills due uh surely we should have paid them off by now but we'll ignore that uh, get the war propaganda up. We'll use digging and hold later. Women in the workforce. We must be on total May, but I don't even look at that. So we'll definitely get women in the workforce to counter the uh, recruitment pop issues. We'll get the old weapons. We'll take the trucks as well. A um, few other special projects. So we can dismantle the Maginot line for land for. I'm actually going to do... I literally did a short that said decisions no one does and put that in it, but... We're going to do it today because I will need to build it. Heavy water, I use that later, but I don't really need nukes at this very moment. Not going to do any of the uh, right commissariats. And that is about it. Form liberation, yeah, I think that will do on the decisions. We've got a partly built intelligence, but we'll uh, just continue upgrading that. We'll become spy master so we get the most spies. Five slots, so it's looking quite up to date, which is good because some of the nations are not. Got all the trains as well, which is handy. 43 mediums, that's good. All of the artillery stuff is pretty much done. So we will go and get the uh, industry because we have got a lot of stuff to make. Construction, we'll go and get oil, well, fuel refinery, and then we'll get uh, modern... No, let's go get rubber. I'm going to need rubber for an air force. We'll get them going and we'll get some synthetic refineries building. To start with for our civzo, we are going to go and build up a load of forts. That's already got a level 5. We have got quite a good Atlanta wall. So any of the ports, I'm going to get to level 5 to start with. Obviously, we've got D-Day and it's the Allies. So we're going to get so many naval invasions. We'll up that. 36 dockyards. So we're just going to build uh, submarines. And we're going to use a strat from our good old friend Vitasteel. So he always goes... 1940 subs with the most up-to-date equipment, aka 44 sub torpedoes and engines. Makes it cheaper and these do the tricks with the most attack and speed and bits and pieces. So we're just going to be churning out these high-tech 1940 subs. We'll let these ones finish off and then we'll get all these into production. And obviously we're just going to starve the allies of resource in the oceans. 278 mils we've got to start with, which is very nice. So we'll go straight for... Equipment 3, I'm not going to make this other stuff. We want the best, seeing as we do have enough military capacity. We'll get support equipment, artillery. We'll go 20 of each. Rocket artillery. I will make some of that, actually, for some soft attacks. We'll make a few of those. 
anti-tank, anti-air will definitely be needing. Um, for our motorized stuff, we'll leave trucks. We'll get rid of all of this. I'm just going to be making mediums. I mean, the temptation to build loads of tigers is high, but we're not. We're going to go sensible and we're going to just build mediums. We'll get rid of all the planes for the moment as well. Just to see, we need to fully equip our army and then we can work on an air force. So we're just smashing out the uh, panthers. We'll do mechs and trucks, see what we look like. Had a little rummage through the panzer divisions and they were all trash. So we're going to go 30 width of mediums, bit of mech and a bit of motorized. And all the support companies. So we've got good and soft and hard attack. Uh, 30 widths for, you know, Europe. So that's what we're going to be running with. Infantry divisions, this is what they have given us to start with, which is a bit odd, but I'm going to use it. Forest are 60 width, so we'll go for 30 widths again for the optimal width in the worst conditions we're going to really face. So we'll add some support rocket as well, and then we're at 26 combat width, so... I'll just add a few more infantry. I thought about another artillery, but we'll do a few more infantry. So this is what we're we'll running with as our main frontline unit, and then we'll get some other port guards. All I'm going to make is some basic fighters. So literally, best engine, all heavy machine guns, and a little bit of armor. Not great range, um, but these should do the job. Just a bit of interception until we start getting some better tech. Um, and these are fairly cheap. So we'll start knocking some of these out, get 40 factories on it, and hopefully start winning the air. So I've rearranged all the armies, so we've got a full five stack one here. We've then got two armies, which we're going to fall back to this river line, although I've missed a tile there. We don't want that, so we're hopefully going to hold this. We're abandoning the Baltics here. We'll fall back from there because we definitely will be able to hold it. I've got a full army of mountaineers that are going to help push and reclaim Italy, and then we've got 15 panzer divisions, which we're going to get over to Normandy ready for the D-Day that is coming, and then a load of port guards for, you know, the ports. Creeks Marina, we are going, obviously, all subs will get out over the Atlantic in any ocean tile, hopefully strangling the uh, USA there, and then we'll get these other ones, we've got four to begin with, but we'll get some more in there eventually, and we'll hit the uh, Mediterranean with these, strangle the US in Italy, and hopefully lose their supply so we can push them out pretty quickly. We've got a small surface fleet which we'll just get on strike force just hopefully stop any soviet naval invasions um, if the allies attack that they'll basically get sunk instantly here we go then let's make sure we get out of the baltics pretty quickly so we'll start manually pulling some of these troops out so they don't get too trapped up here and uh, get some encircled equipment we are loads of anti-air and anti-tank armored missing artillery missing rocket artillery missing quite a few guns we have loads of mech and loads of trucks i did delete all the motorized which i kind of regret now because we're also missing a lot of medium tanks uh, we've got tank destroyers though so let's go and switch up we won't make any tank destroyers i haven't got enough P xp for it anyway but we'll switch these out for medium tank destroyers and then once they start getting destroyed we'll refill them full of uh, normal mediums while we're making them so we'll lose the mech and the truck factories because we definitely don't need that we'll get it on infantry the tanks and artillery definitely i've got quite a big luftwaffe so let's get that over italy um we've got a load of cast we'll get all the fighters and the cast over italy and hopefully we should have enough green air and a bit of cast damage to be able to push them out with our mountaineers. Not sure how much the allies actually got here. I can't really see them all. So we'll let them attack and then we will immediately counter. We are getting cast damage. We are completely outnumbering in the air. They'll obviously change soon because they'll get some air up. But we'll see if we can push, hit Napoli, get them out of the ports. This will be our first target before the Soviet offensives happen. Soviets are trying to push at the moment there. I can't really let them break through this river line middle gap bit. I can't remember what it's called the annoying gate part we'll just try and reinforce uh, i might fall back to some defensive river lines because we don't actually have a great defensive position to start we'll go for mass produce the panzer faust because fifteen thousand guns i think that will yeah almost get rid of our negative infantry so yeah that will definitely help our stockpiles our mountaineers are pushed through um we're sort of pinning them just below napoli so if we keep them pinned we might be able to move them round and encircle them there's a few we managed to get here but we're doing pretty well in italy the uh, germans are pushing well 
take out the heel of the boot and then we'll move. Obviously, Sicily is going to be a problem unless I can push over the straight. This is where the fun begins. Just as we are making gains in Italy, I'm going to have to pause it for a second just to put all of my attention on. Oh, my God, look at all the red. So what is the bonus they get in this? I can't remember off the top of my head. Major offensive, there it is. Supply, attack, plus 50. Damn. Remove 7th of March. So we've got three weeks of this as well. Wow, we are going to get absolutely stomped. I've moved the um, armor into this non-river gap area um, with the plains. But everywhere else, hopefully the river I can hold. Let's pull back from Romania. We'll give up this land and we'll try and hold this major river line. Um, in Bessarabia. So don't stop attacking. I don't want to counter. I just want to fall back and hold our divisions. We don't want to get anyone encircled. Just have to move back the river line, fall back line a little bit. They're not crossing the river, but they are pushing us from the east on the uh, plains tile. So we've sort of lost the gate area. We're just, you know, losing a few tiles here and there. The armor's slowing it down a bit now. Um, so as long as we don't get any encircled, we should be okay. Oh, thank God. God, Soviet offensive has slowed down. So they get a negative bonus now as well. So division speed, entrenchment, okay. We'll, we'll try and use that. See if we can push back to the river line. If I, if I can just take a few tiles back so we've got a much more defensive position. See if I can knock these five or six tiles and grab the river and the supply depot here as well. Yeah, they've got 14 divisions. I am stronger than them, but I think countering is pointless. I think... We'll try and grab the river line, but that's it because it's going to cost us big in these re-offensive counter-attacks and we don't really afford that. Hungary has started to negotiate with the Allies. We definitely don't want that, so we'll start the invasion. We can't afford for the uh, Balkans to switch over because that basically will completely ruin our run. So we've got German Hungary now. Can't get over the strait to Sicily, so we've got all our planes up over the sea. I need naval supremacy, so hopefully... A little bit of the old naval strike will eventually get us naval supremacy and then we'll launch our attack. We are lacking a few guns, a load of artillery, a bit of rocket now, but our, we're looking okay for the stockpile. So we'll just do a little jig round to make sure we're getting the essentials built. But yeah, our, our stockpiles aren't too bad now. We should be able to get some new units out soon. Green Sea, perfect. Right, get our naval invasion off. Hopefully this lands. We'll get all of our air over there as well let's change all of that from the port or oh, sorry naval strike to cast damage over italy landed on one tile but that's not a port a little force attack might be able to at least hold these troops in while we take the uh, other ports not too sure if we were to grab it or not we've got another invasion landed oh we do have one port here but we need to take palmero and grab that other port Italy is basically back in our control. We just got a couple of divisions encircled in both the ports. We'll push them out. They'll either retreat or die. And then Italy should be back in our command. Ah, damn. That's definitely not what I wanted. Um, okay, back to the Soviet front. And they are going to absolutely pile drive us again. We have lost the winter as well now. So they're not going to have any negative. They are casting us a little bit with their air force. So we'll get our... Luftwaffe are over there now. We don't need them in Italy anymore. So we'll start contesting the air. Hopefully get a little bit of cast damage. But I don't want to lose too much of the cast if we haven't got green skies. Because we'll have to then rebuild it later when we do contest the air. Major offensive. 10th of May. We've got eight more days. Okay. We've fallen back a fair amount. But there's not much else we can do. As long as I don't get troops encircled or destroyed. I'm not too fussed about it. Because we will eventually be able to hit back. The offensives do stop in late 45, I believe. Lose too much in Romania, so we'll see if we can push these two tiles back to the river now. Um, at least give that defensive. We can't. There's a river line there, so we're fine. Up here, we'll try and take that one tile, so we have the river up here as well. But the uh, the main bit in the middle, we've lost a lot of territory, but it's a lot of marsh and forest, so it shouldn't be too bad for defensive going on. What are we at now? 600,000 casualties. Uh, we've done a million to the Soviets and we've done 1.1 million to the Allies, which, um, yeah, is not too bad of an exchange rate, I suppose. A lot of them are Americans, obviously. Right, that is Sicily finally done. So Italy is back under our control now. You're welcome, Mr. Mussolini. We'll go and get these Mountaineers and our Panzers as well. We're looming very close to D-Day, so we'll go and... 
put a full back line just thinking what I want to do. I think I'm going to take hold Sherborg. We're going to let him land in these three tiles here. Uh, I want to knock some of the troops out because if I just don't let them land, they'll just keep reinforcing and, and re-invading. If we can actually destroy the units, then they've got to spend a lot of time reproducing them. So we do want them to land and then destroy them rather than just keep them off the land entirely. Obviously, they land where I'm not. Unbelievable. They must have done the old dropping the body in the ocean with the wrong plans because they fooled me. They're not going to take the port and there's few divisions there we're going to destroy but that's not brilliant d-day i must be honest recently it's been so bad when i've done this mod so i think we've been lucky on this run yeah that was suspiciously too easy there's definitely more to come so that's d-day stop there's a few divisions landing down here so in breast so we'll just quickly cut them off um, but that's only a couple so yeah not too bad uh, there's a very late notification and the paratroopers i haven't seen them for a few runs now so that's a bit odd but yeah they landed right where we were so no problem whatsoever but we have definitely got another big naval invasion on its way gonna stop building mills actually and we'll start with some synthetic refineries now we are out of oil and i will need some rubber as well so we'll just spam these the Rivendrop Agreement. Um, I don't have anything to send Finland. I definitely can't afford that. So I have a feeling they're just going to flip anyway because I haven't got any troops there. So we might as well give them nothing and let them let them be taken by the Soviets. We definitely don't have the infantry equipment for it. Quickly carting our Mountaineers and Panzers back to the Soviet front because they've got another offensive. They're not pushing too badly. What have we got to deal with? Uh, 13th of July, so another two weeks. Um, so they've pushed us mainly back off the river line. We're, again, we're losing a few tiles, but I'm not too fast as long as I don't lose too much equipment and, you know, lose Romania. This little naval invasion down in Brest didn't go well for them. There's a nice 15 divisions there that our port guards are dealing with. Um, they haven't got a port, so that's fine. They'll easily be crushed, but I still think we're going to have a big Allied offensive anytime soon. Soviet offensive is done, so we're trying to just push back a little bit. If I can take this river line here, we've had to fall back from more of the Baltic we're, we're almost in well we are on the border of Poland now so it's not looking great we're in July 44 so we just need to hang a little bit we've got some cast up there just to try and push we'll move a bit around they've got too many so I just got to reorg the uh, air a bit he survives an assassination attempt um so that must be obviously the July plot so do we want I'm invincible no or retire no, I don't want to lose those generals, especially Rommel with all the bonuses. He's our field marshal and one of our advisors, so we will just say invincible. I assume that has no repercussions. Problem I'm finding is I don't have any chromium, which Turkey has it all and they're not willing to trade for me. Have they literally? Yeah, they've got so much of it. Um, so I might have to do something stupid. Turkey won't obviously join my faction. There's no way of getting off my trade embargo as well. I wish... Yeah, they're embargoing us. There's no way to get rid of that, I can tell. Justification will take 300 days. I might have to go to war with them for the Chromium. That is a really foolish move. I'll do it anyway because I've got 300 days to decide whether that's a clever idea. We will improve uh, relations with them just to see if that will switch them. If we get good enough relations, whether they'll turn off the embargo. I hope for their sake it does. I'm going to switch. I don't really want to, but I basically don't have enough resource to make my medium tanks. 30% efficiency because of lack of resource. So if I go down from improved medium cannons to normal medium cannons, it requires one less chromium. Um, because they, they, these cannons don't take any chromium. So if I do that, we basically should be able to now build these slightly less effective panthers... But we now build more of them because we've got enough chromium to do it. Soviets are starting a new offensive against the Finnish lines. Well, we don't really care about that. We don't really concern us. They are still throwing themselves at us. We are doing all right on equipment now as well. We seem to have been holding. As soon as the offensive comes, we're going to get pushed back. But hopefully they just keep cycle charging us and wasting their equipment. I'm trying to push to that river line, but I just can't. So we'll stop that. Uh, all our tanks are in the centre to hold. Romania is in negotiating with the Soviets. Um, we definitely can't have that. 12 days to take it back. I definitely won't be able to do that. So, oh, we're going to have to launch this operation, I suppose, and take 
Romania for ourselves. They lose, we lose so much manpower and political power for that. I suppose we've got the political power and the manpower at the moment. So German Romania we've got. A Soviet offensive has slowed down, so that's fine. Yeah, we have lost too much of Romania. I can't afford for them to flip, so they're in our control now. We're lacking guns, mediums, and a bit of artillery. Here we go. This is what I've been waiting for. Unfortunately, it's come at a terrible time where I've not been ready for it. So we'll quickly go and get our uh, Rommel army group of panzers and our thick boy mountaineers. We'll get them straight over here to stop this. Hopefully they won't push too far before we can reinforce it because our port guards can't. Damn, we've already lost Paris. Right, I've got every single port guard I have filling into the front lines just to try and stop it you know, progressing. I'm hoping we won't get any other naval invasions in the meantime because that will truly shaft us, but they are getting in to at least slow it down. Right, I think we're doing okay. The mountaineers and the tanks have... Stopped him in his tracks or really they're just still trying to push but I'll let them waste their equipment There's nothing else going on. I will try and just get a few divisions Queued up. I know we've got the equipment, but we'll get them the equipment first That is just in case there's another naval invasion. We can quickly deploy them We are lacking the guns for it, but we should be able to make them We just need to stop the allies pushing let them waste all their equipment and then we'll push them back to the sea Just take a quick look at the casualties. We're at 1.4 mil at the moment US is 1.3, yeah, two and a bit mil and three mil for the Soviets, so we're doing okay. Um, they're just still throwing themselves at us, which this is exactly what I wanted for D-Day, just not as badly dealt with. Because once we knock all these units out, they'll have a hell of a time replacing all of these, and then we should be okay for naval invasions and can then focus on hitting back at the Soviets. Damn, that couldn't have come at a worse time when my tanks and mountaineers are over here dealing with the Allies. Um, I feel like this one is going to be an absolute kick in the teeth. We are going to fold like a warm Mars bar. Um, they're force attacking as well. Bloody hell. Right, let's just try and hold and fall back. Load the divisions in this little uh, tong here. I definitely don't want to get them in circle. So just keep manually pulling them out. Um, force retreat them. We just don't want these in circle because that would be massive. 30 odd, yeah that's fine, they're out. Okay, that was like 30 odd divisions there, that could have been an absolute disaster, but they're, they've pulled out eventually. Allies are still just absolutely throwing themselves at us, and we're losing an odd tile here and there, but realistically they can sit and I don't really need to pay too much attention. This side, however, we are into Poland, so I'm going to deploy these troops that I was saving for port guards just to get on the front line, because we just need more bodies there at the moment. Soviets have slowed down, thank God. God, because they have pushed us so far. We're still holding Romania, and I suppose the mountains of Hungary are helping. We've actually lost Danzig as well, where it all started, so we might be able to push back in the count and just and then hold Danzig and this river line. Might fall back a few tiles. I try and push to Warsaw. If we can get this major river, it should then let us entrench, and we should be okay-ish for the next uh, attack. That did take one hell of a beating to our equipment, though. Our infantry equipment basically melted away in that. Bit of support we're missing. Everything else is looking okay. Fighters, obviously, but, you know, we're contesting that. And anti-air we're missing, so we definitely need to at least hold on a bit while we get some more equipment in the uh, stockpiles. Some of the allies are looking very under-equipped, though, so I might be able to push through with a few of our tank. If I can just get a few little encirclements. Yeah, we do melt them away quite nicely, so I think our panzer divisions are good. Well, we've got quite a few mediums now anyway. Right, first little encirclement done. So there's a few of the Allies knocked off. We'll destroy them. There's a good probably 20 divisions there by the looks of it. So there will be some they have to replace. I'm going to just get all of the tanks into this 15 and we'll just move them through as a whole unit rather than have them over the front line. I think if we can cut through and take the ports, this will really screw the Allies over majorly. Oh, our tanks are slicing through them. This is brilliant. Right, Panzers all the way through. We'll just... Go around you. If I can pin these troops here with an infantry, we might get a bit, another four or so. Quickly move around them. Yeah, there we go. There's some more encircled. We'll cross the river while there's no one there. We'll push up towards Normandy and we'll encircle a little breast. Well, I've got the gap. I've got to keep moving. We'll take Cherbourg, move up this way, hopefully grab the last few ports, and then the Allies will be absolutely screwed. We'll have a big bunch of them here. We'll get a front line going just to pin the troops in place so they don't start automatically retreating out. Nice encirclement there in Brest, good divisions just disappearing, we'll get them quickly over to Cherbourg and further this way. A few in Cherbourg are being done and then we'll head east back down through the ports. 
These pandas are so good. We'll quickly keep moving. We'll take um, Neep, is it, I think that's how you pronounce it? Who knows? French will hate me in the comments, but never mind. We'll quickly grab them. There's loads of divisions here that are encircled, so we'll keep moving our panzers just to keep this open and take the last few ports. Le Havre is gone also. There's a few divisions going to be knocked off in there. And with Dunkirk taken, that is the last port of this ally. So these are all now technically surrounded round Paris. We'll get our full army just to crush that there. No idea how many divisions. There's got to be nearly 100 here. This is exactly what I wanted for the D-Day. So we're at 4.87 million at the moment casualties. Um, and then we'll see what we get after we destroy this whole big bubble and we can see how much was actually in this entire pocket. So these are just going to absolutely melt away now, which is brilliant. Last few tiles, it is looking very chonky, this encirclement. We've basically pushed them back to Paris, so enjoy defending Paris to the last stand. Our tanks are just rolling on in, rolling on in. Now the what? Soviets, don't do that. Please don't do that. We need to quickly get rid of these encirclement then and we're going to get our troops back over. How many divisions have we got? 46. I assume there's more coming in. 55. 81. 83 divisions that we've got in there. And have just been completely wiped out in Paris. So the Catacombs of Paris has now got an absolute mound of new bodies in it that we've just crushed in Paris. What have they got? 6.42 million casualties. That means we've basically left Paris with about 1.5 million bodies. I don't think we'll be dealing with the Allies again for any time soon. They'll be licking their wounds from that one. So we can fully take on the uh, Soviets now. We're almost at the end where they'll stop doing their offensives. A new Soviet offensive. Damn, this is hopefully one of the last ones. We're in May 45 now. So we should have lost by now. But we're still going. There seems to be a lot of green bubbles. Um... We've got a lot of, obviously, mountainous tiles here which are holding. And then we've got our tanks in the middle where it's plain. So they should be able to hold as well. But it's all looking pretty good, which is surprising. Soviet defensive has slowed down. So I think it is time to start hitting back a bit. We've got our tanks here now. I think with the counter negative that the Soviets got, we should be able to at least push to Warsaw and grab the river line back. And uh, give us a good place to sit while I do other business mainly down in Turkey. Oh, I might even be able to get an encirclement here. If we get random, we have. A nice little encirclement there. So there's a few Soviet divisions. No idea how many because I haven't got enough intel, but a few destroyed. Time to start some jet fighters. So this is what we're going with. Very expensive, but should be very good. I can already tell the comments are going to be like, oh, that's a rubbish design, not OP. This is what I'm going for. Jet fighters, armor, drop tanks, extra fuel. We are going to win the air battle one way or the other. Now, Turkey, I gave you enough warning. You won't give me your chromium. We are going to have to take it from you. This could be an absolute disaster, but I feel the Soviets are pretty poor because... Oh, to be fair, they might join the Allies, but I feel like Turkey will join the common turn. Why is that not... Oh, I've got to call Bulgarian. Bulgaria, please join my war against Turkey. If I can get to Istanbul here quickly, I might actually be able to encircle a load of the Turkish army on this side of the... Uh, the straight so if we can pin everyone in our mountaineers are chonky pushing boys with a lot of artillery so they should be okay naval invasion's gone off well as well finally so we've got another full army of i mean they're all green but they're a full army of mountaineers still so two full armies of mountaineers hitting turkey shouldn't be too difficult to knock them out Something I should have been doing ages ago is getting a collaboration government on the go. So better late than never. We'll get a few of these so we don't have to take all of the Soviets. That is a good 25 divisions there of Turkish troops we've encircled. So that is all, over half of their army they've just completely lost there. So the rest of Turkey should be fairly easy and up for grabs for us. Bulgaria is negotiating with the Soviets and there's nothing I can do about that. Because they've lost one tile they're negotiating. Oh damn i mean that shouldn't be too much of a problem they've given us enough notice so we'll go and get one of our mountaineers actually we'll grab some off this front line because soviets aren't really attacking at the moment and we'll uh chuck them on the front line from romania and we can just walk straight in when they flip over bulgaria has done a white piece almost like we knew this beforehand and we've got some troops mobilizing on your border you silly sausage Bulgaria. We've got loads of troops around. We'll just go in and grab their units. I don't know where their army is. A couple on the tiles, but we'll have to push back this way as well, which is a bit annoying, but 
yeah, they've got not a lot left. Load of Soviets that they've encircled here as well. So they've also really kind of shafted the uh, Soviets with that one. So unlucky for them. And that's the last tile. So that is Bulgaria dealt with. We'll take the, uh, well, most of it's gone to Romania actually, but fine. One less ally for us to have to deal with and be annoyed by. We'll, uh, we'll get our tanks over to Turkey as well, actually, just to help push a little bit because the Soviets have reinforced a little bit now in this uh, meantime. To get some modern tanks out. I'm actually going to go gas turbine. I've never done that, but the max speed will be 11 and we'll have 100% reliability with that. So, yeah, the E50s are having gas turbine and I think the rest of it's looking okay. I'm not going to do any armor engine. I think that's enough. We don't need too much armor. We ain't playing no multiplayer game and we'll, uh, we'll start churning out the modern tanks and replace the mediums in our divisions when they become available. A fair amount of the chromium. I think we need a little bit more and then I don't want to go too far till we have two front lines with the Allies and the Soviets there. So we've actually got enough chromium. So I'll just take this 45 and we'll grab a river line. I will go up a uh, conscription law there because we don't have any manpower anymore. Last couple of tiles and then I think... Oh, for... relying on Italy to not do Italy things is just impossible in this game. So I'm going to have to... Lucky we're at how far we want to go so we just need to hold so i'm gonna to have to take one of the mountaineer divisions off and head towards italy just another tile there and we've got a good front line i can have pants troops here we're gonna build a load of forts quickly we'll get level four we've got so much industry we should whack these up very quickly and then we can just leave some you know crappy holder divisions on there we just need this one tile and then we'll build there that's mountains as well so it should be good right our mountaineers have arrived in italy there's a fair few us here um Go back to me saying about, oh, we won't hear from the Allies anytime soon. Clip that bad boy, but we should be able to push them out. Oh dear, what has happened down here? Has Romania capitulated? I didn't realise that. Um, wow, they've really screwed us there a bit. Uh, what to do, what to do. Let's just, I mean, we're holding the front line, so I should just be able to take these divisions, actually, because there's no Soviets in them. It's not like they've betrayed us. They've just capitulated. So hopefully we can salvage this quickly before we get pushed back and encircled. Yeah, okay, that wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad. So we've regained, we lost a little bit of the land. We'll have to push back and at least get that river line back. Um, but yeah, Romania's gone, so majority of their divisions are gone. Luckily, we're, we're doing all right with the Soviets. It's not too bad. I haven't had a attack in a while, so I think that we have done with the offensives, um, which is good because, you know, it's kind of falling a little bit apart at the moment. We need a bit of a grip. Let's start with Italy. So we'll start pushing back in Italy. Our mountaineers are good. We've got a load of subs out, so I'm assuming they're being absolutely raided for their supply. We've got a load of air over. We've got our new jets, a bit of cast. So with that, we should just be able to roll these troops back. Um, our mountaineers are unbelievable. My next problem is I'm missing a lot of tungsten, which I need for, you know, the artillery bits. And Portugal has got all of it. So... Spain don't want to join me. I really need to get to Portugal and steal all that tungsten off them. Um, it went so well in Turkey. I don't think I'm going to get naval supremacy to be able to land there, though, is the problem. If I can just go around the sides, I might be able to trap a load of these Americans in the mountains. They've got, like, 30 divisions there, but they are falling back quicker than we can go around. I might be able to cut some off. We've retaken Rome, at least. Hopefully, they might just capitulate and do the old disappearing, but I'd rather encircle them. Uh, we've got them encircled in Napoli, I suppose. They should, 50 divisions F, as long as we can get them before they pull out. Um, that should be another big blow. Oh, I, don't, I don't know. They might have been destroyed, they might have pulled out, who knows. So Spain won't join me because France doesn't exist or is not, I don't really know. Something to do with it means, something to do with France means that Spain won't join me. They also won't join manually, which is rather annoying. Yeah, so much negative. Um... Yeah, you leave me no choice, Spain. We're going through Spain. We're stabbing them in the back. They're leaving us no choice. We need the Stunxton in uh, Portugal and they won't give it to us. So, after you. The Soviets have just sort of stopped. They're pushing in the south a bit. In the north and Poland is fine. We are holding the river here. Again, they're just throwing themselves at us. We are out of manpower, which is a little bit annoying. Um, 300,000 to be precise. We have got a load of new port guards trying to get out. Sorry, Spain, you don't really leave us any choice. We're going to have to roll through you with our mountaineers, so 
Yeah, I bet you didn't see this one coming. They've joined the common turn as well, which is a bit bizarre, but we've got all our cast above as well and our fighters, so we shouldn't be too bad. Japan is still well and truly alive and kicking, so at least they should be distracting the Allies for us. I mean, I can't believe they haven't taken out China yet, but at least there'll be a big distraction. Panzer divisions have broken through, taken Madrid, so we can just beeline for all of the uh, victory points now. We'll start on, oh no, 10 days. We've got 10 days with Portugal, that's fine. We'll, uh, we'll defeat Spain first and then we can set up and do the uh, 10 day justification for that. There goes Spain. Good thing about this is we can actually take Gibraltar as well, which will half cut off the Allies from moving more divisions into the Med. So we might end up with naval supremacy all over the Med. Come on then, Portugal. You wouldn't give us the tungsten, so we're going to take all the tungsten. And bonus of this one means that the Allies shouldn't have too much of it as well. I know there's other bits around there. They've joined the common turn as well. But at least they can't trade with Portugal for tungsten. And there goes Portugal. They've given us load of artillery and a load of guns as well which is not what I was expecting but very handy so our stockpiles are looking very nice just a bit of anti-tank we're missing but that doesn't really matter and a lot of fighters obviously but look at our tungsten supply now we are good to go so we don't need to trade anymore and lose it from Japan um, but yeah we've got all the tungsten and all the material we need the thing we're lacking now is manpower which I don't really care about so We'll get our divisions back. We'll start pushing against the Soviets now. They have just been charging us and are losing all their equipment. We've got all of our resources. We're at 4.4 million casualties. Soviets are at 14 million casualties. And the Allies are at 11 million. So, you know, we've conflicted, yeah, 5 to 1 uh, damages at the moment, which isn't bad. Hoping to get green air. I mean, we are absolutely destroying. When we go into one tile, we can destroy the Soviet air. Look at these exchange rates. Our fighters are unbelievable, so we're about even in terms of the amount of fighters, but ours are just far superior. Going to do a little naval invasion. I've tried a few little probing attacks against the Soviets, and I can't really get far. I know we were in winter as well, so let's get all our mountaineers and tanks over to the Baltics, and we'll open up a big front, hopefully rush in a bit, and it will just scramble the Soviet lines where they can't deal with it. Oh, no one was even here. Unbelievable plan from the Germans. Rommel and his group are going to be doing absolute bits behind your lines. So we'll get the rest of this uh, group over and we'll just do a nice big field marshal and we'll get that on full on attack, spread out, and hopefully they'll start retreating and doing weird, unbelievable things that don't make any sense like the AI does. We might be able to get in a circle here. Yeah, Königsberg is now in circle. There's a good amount of Soviets. They have really lacking equipment. Or manpower, one of the two, but I'd assume it is uh, equipment because it is the uh, Soviets and they have unlimited manpower. There's a nice 40 odd divisions, I think that was just gone. 30, 40 divisions have just disappeared of the Soviets, so that's good. Line Rommel up now here, and we're going to see if we can push down to Rostov and basically encircle 90% of the Soviet army if we're quick enough with our tanks and then mountaineers following in behind. Oh, the tanks are actually too quick. This could end badly because we've just snaked our way down here. We'll take Stalino as well. There's some nice pockets we'll have to quickly seal up, but we are cutting through them. This is an absolute mess, I will be honest, but we've got enough equipment. We've got loads of manpower now. Um, we will just start trying to create a few pockets of Soviets, knock them out, and then it'll be plain sailing onwards to Moscow. A few little divisions gone there, just little pockets, we'll deal with loads of little pockets and the Soviets can't do anything about it. Another pocket here, that's a good 20 odd divisions, we'll just quickly, 20, 30 divisions, we'll just crush off. There's another good pocket and that is the majority of Romania, so we are on the home stretch now. Um, we just got to hit the major cities, we've got a few collaborations on the go and then that should be the Soviets done. They are well and truly on the ropes. We're just battle planning our way to Moscow. They're just folding over like Brazil versus Germany in 2014. But the Soviets are obviously Brazil. Moscow is ours. Yes, we've taken Moscow. That's one of the first major cities we've done. Well, the major city, but we're still a little bit off yet. The Soviets are at 28 million casualties, though. Leningrad is encircled. We No, come on. There we go, right, Leningrad is ours, that was a bit harder to take. Uh, 69% still. Nice. Just got to take Stalingrad and I think that'll be it. 
Air war against the Soviets is done, so we've moved our troops over to the channel and we're doing some unbelievable exchange rates as well. I hope you all commented on how crap my design of the fighter was, but obviously it's not. Oh, they do have 14,000 planes left. Okay, this one's going to last a while, so we'll just let that kick on still. We've got green air and they'll keep reinforcing. We'll shoot them down. Meanwhile, we'll uh, knock the Soviets out. Stalingrad should be ours and that might be... No, is it not? No, no, we're near bloody hell. 80%. Okay, we've still got a bit to go. Right, we need Baku and a few other bits then. Look how many troops the Allies have got. They are deserving of a little uh, a little nuking, I think. So we're going to nuke Portsmouth and a bit of London, wherever they've got big troops. We'll start removing equipment ready for the uh, invasion there later on. Atomic bombing of London. Gorky. Maybe taking Gorky is enough. What are we at? 98%. 31 million casualties they're on as well. That should be it. It's either that or it's frozen. We've either won or it's frozen. Put your bets in. We've won. We have won against the Soviets. Wow, look at the equipment they had as well. Why don't they deploy that? But there we go. 31 million casualties the Soviets had. So there is Soviet Union done. It's all under our control. We have finally won the Eastern one. We still can't proclaim Greater Germany, though, which is a bit annoying. I still don't understand what I need for that, but who cares? We just need to knock out the Allies now. Well, not the Allies, just the UK, and then I will class that as a win. So let's get everyone to France. We're going to get some big boy Marines out. We don't really need the Mountaineers. We need Marines. I have a feeling this is going to be one hell of a tough landing because look how many divisions they have in England. So we'll switch these Mountaineers to uh, the Marines and we'll get them on a naval invasion. A tale of two cities. Yeah, go on then. We'll uh, honour the heroes of the last war and replace it. A lovely new fleet courtesy of the Russians. We should be able to get naval supremacy at some point. Evil invasion is off, so we're going to do a little cheeky nuke on Dover because look how many bloody divisions they've got and they've just lost all of their equipment. So hopefully we'll get them surrounded and that'll be a nice encirclement done. We've got the cast and the planes up as well. There is so many divisions here that our Marines have got one hell of a job. Having to force attack our way off the beaches, really. We've got Dover and Portsmouth, but... The Allies are surely putting up a fight. They're trying to do a bit of encryptment to uh, get a bit of defence, but that shouldn't be a problem. We are there making gains and pushing them back. Okay, my planes are unbelievable. 233, that said then. An exchange rate of 200 to about 7. Um, yeah, Kurt Who Games knows how to design planes, let me tell you that. The RAF is basically being completely obliterated. They might as well just stay on the ground. All of London, load trap down here in Devon and Cornwall, and I think we should just be able to roll them over now. Our panzers are so good. We'll uh, nuke our way. We need a bit more oil supremacy yet. Improve hull with a lovely nuclear bomb there. Anywhere where they've got stacked units, we'll just nuke them. Got all of Wales encircled. Let's have a quick look at the uh, casualties. 20 million to 2 million of ours, so that is not bad if I do say so myself. Yeah, 7 million Americans. A lot of them would have been the naval invasion we pushed out, but, you know, also the nuking going on. Nuke our way into Newcastle, and that should be it. They've got a lot of casualties, and there we go. The UK has capitulated. That is definitely where I call the win on this run. So, 1949 we got to. We have saved Germany in 44, defeated the Soviets, pushed the UK. I assume the US would uh, sue for peace now. And that is one that we have saved again. It definitely was harder this time, I think. I don't think I got pushed back that much before. Um, I wanted to get a few of these ones in before the old new DLC comes out. And then, you know, all the mods need time to recover. Especially the German ones. I imagine they'll have a lot of work to do to get their mod going again. So I hope you like this one. Please hit the like button if you did. Comment down below. It'll help the channel out a lot. What you want me to do. What other challenges you want me to see and do. Hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with future content. And thank you guys for watching. Peace out.